I'm Kylie Pierce. And I'm Jason Fajardo. And this week we'll be looking at the weekly announcements. See how quarantine life is going. Reviewing the weather for the week. And go over counselor and club updates. Looking at the weekly announcements, make sure that you follow Student Council's Instagram at NWCTA Stuco to stay up to date with important school events and other information. Students must complete a magnet contract once per year. Submission is required by May. Information can be found on the Council's Corner website, NWCTA website, and Council's Google Classroom. Our in-house artist, Joseph Christensen, recently won first place for his sidewalk chalk drawings at Sky Canyon. Here is some of his amazing work. The HMG Pumpkin Carving Contest results are in. We would like to congratulate Joseph Sanchez from MechTech for his spooky submission. Good job, Joe. Now let's take a look at how teachers and students are handling quarantine schooling. Hello, welcome to Quarantine Life. My name is Armani Perez, and today we will interview Jalen Brown, a student at MechTech, and Mr. Smith, a teacher teaching public speaking, mathematics, and personal leadership. So how have online classes been going in general? Um, overall, I think online classes have been going fairly well. Uh, there's been some technology issues, but I think overall we're starting to get the hang of what we need to do. I think the students are starting to figure things out. Uh, I think as teachers, we are starting to figure things out. So I, I think they're becoming more and more effective each time, uh, each day. Uh, we learn a little something new, and uh, I think we're making progress there. School's been going good for me so far. I have A's in all my classes, and it's just a lot easier for me because I only have internet issues on some like some students, uh, which is un which is definitely not their fault. It's thanks to uh, the internet companies because they're probably getting loaded right now. Do you enjoy online classes more than physical ones? Um, I will say that I, I do enjoy being able to work from home. Uh, however, I enjoy physical classes way more. Um, a lot of the classes that I teach involve a lot of discussion, uh, which is very difficult to do online. Um, it just doesn't quite have the same atmosphere as an in-person class does. Um, and, I, and I think one of the other big things is that a lot of the things for online classes that we're doing uh, can also be done in a physical classroom. Um, so I enjoy the physical classroom. I think it, it, it allows us more opportunities to be a little more flexible. I would like to say that physical school is definitely more easier, mainly for us kids with internet issues and um, just with uh, internet problems at home, because it's easier to, to learn and easier for us to, kids to um, just get out working, do hands-on projects, especially for engineering and mech tech kids. Do you have anything to keep you focused during online classes? Um, I'm able to stay focused thanks to my mother because she's on me about school a lot, so I just do what I can to get my work done easily and simply. Is there any way to improve your online class experience? Um, one of the things that I'm hoping to see more of as we continue to move through is really an increased participation level from students during the live call. Um, I think that's something that would obviously help improve uh, the classes overall. Um, really would like to, you know, have more in-class discussions and things like that, so. Before we go, here's a tip to keep your coins alive better. After you wake up, do something productive like going for a run, washing some dishes, or do some schoolwork. It will make you happier and your overall day better. This is Armani Perez from HMG News signing off. Happy Halloween Hawks, I'm Alex Bocani, and tune in next Thursday for a new episode of Foodie Finds. <laughs>
Hi Hots, I'm Brianna Bulkins, the host of World News. I hope you and your families have a terrific spooky Halloween, and I'll see you every Monday here on HMG News. Hello everybody, my name is Joseph Hutchison, and I am the host for Tech Tips. I help you with Canvas or other apps I may discuss. I hope to see you there. And if I don't, you'll see me. <laughs> Welcome back. Ramsey's going to tell you what the weather will be looking like this week and some other fun activities happening in the community. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Ramsey Petrillo with your weekly weather report. Today we'll be seeing a high of 75 and a low of 50, and for the rest of the week there will be highs in the low 80s and lows in the mid 50s and low 50s. Halloween is right around the corner, Hawks. If you are going out, make sure to stay safe and follow all community precautions. Now on to community calendar, where I talk about local events happening in the city. If you want to get into the Halloween spirit but you're not too into jump scares, I recommend Trapped Escape Room here in Las Vegas. They're usually open every day from 11.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. If you do want to get spooked this Halloween season, I recommend going to Asylum Hotel Fear, which is open from Wednesday to Sunday with various opening and closing times. That concludes this week, Hawks. I hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween. I'll see you here next week. I'm Ramsey Petrillo with HMG News. Hi Hawks, I'm Danae Kilgore from Hot Taco, and we want to wish you a happy Halloween. Spooky season's right around the corner, Hawks, so make sure you tune in this Thursday for our Halloween special. Hey Hawks, it's Alfonso Valdez, the host of Hawk Gaming, and I'm here to wish you all a happy and thriller Halloween. And make sure to tune in every Friday where I review another game. Happy Halloween! I'm Andrea Gillartin, host of the HMG Cooking Show, and I just want to say happy Halloween. <laughs> the 2020-2021 Nevada State of Literacy application is now available until Wednesday, December 16th. Students must be proficient in another language other than English and must have at least a 2.0 GPA in their English course. Students who scored a 3 or higher on the AP World Language Exam are required to fill out the application. To fill out the application, please visit the following link. The Nevada Promise Scholarship is due October 31st. The scholarship is established by the Nevada Legislature for Nevada high school graduates to attend community college and can cover up to three years of tuition and other mandatory fees. Purdue Polytechnic Institute and SUNY are hosting virtual visits on October 28th. Purdue Polytechnic Institute visit is from 12.45 p.m. to 1.25 p.m. and SUNY's visit is from 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. To get more information on other virtual visits and scholarship information, please visit the following links shown on your screen. Thanks for joining us this week, Hawks. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us at hawkmediagroup.news on Instagram. And don't forget to answer the question of the day on our Instagram story. This week's question is, what are you doing this Halloween, Hawks? Tune in next Wednesday for more HMG News. Have a great day. Hey Hawks, it's Jason Fajardo from HMG News. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Hawks. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Hawks. From HMG News.